All right, so we got the have a nice day cart up and rolling, fully functional, leaking a little bit of oil. I think uh, my gasket might have got a uh, compromise when I was uh, redoing the uh, piston arm, uh, but she still flies, works great. Uh, just gotta get in there and get that gasket sealed off. Um, but she's fun right now. Um, works just like the way I want it to, guys. It'll rip it. It's fast, good acceleration, good in the corner, and it is really, really durable. Uh, this one turned out really, really well. Um, now, here's our next one, guys. It all starts with an idea. This is actually a... Uh, I'm not sure what brand this, this cart is, but this is more of a, a yard cart. This isn't really a... Uh, uh, like this one was, like a Manko Dingo off-road cart. This is more of a just a simple small little car um, but we're gonna do the same thing we did uh, to this one to this one so we got some competition um, we're gonna keep the green and we'll probably get us the uh, the turtle shell flag for this one it'll be pretty funny um, starter got to get the seat moved back we're not keeping this seat we're gonna put a more modern seat on here I'm just using this for uh, 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 measurement purposes right now to see where uh, I want my motor to land uh, we actually had to remove this uh, motor mount here. It was up here a good little ways, but we want to scoot it back as far as we can get it without compromising our weight distribution. So almost halfway over the axle, but that still gives us another inch and a half to get this seat scooted back. Um, next thing is this: we're going to have to remove that nut. And then bore us a new hole up here for our accelerator and our brake to give us that that little bit more uh, leg room you see right here how I did exactly how I did this one the holes were right there but I stepped them up there and added a little uh, length to my rod same with my accelerator there's the original hole we stepped it up about four inches to give us more leg room uh, we're gonna do the same thing with this one step that up about four inches Add four inches to our rod here, so we ain't got to change our brake or nothing. Uh, get this scooter back two inches. And uh, get us a more modern seat. But this one works to uh, to gauge to see where I'm going to put everything. And as of now, it's starting to come together real well. It's going to fit real nice. Going to work. Going to be some good opposition. Now this one, we're just going to put the, uh, the smaller 35T sprocket on here. Uh, so it'll probably be a, a more top end than acceleration, but that's kind of what I want because this one has a lot of acceleration. This one is going to have the top end, and so it'll be like a, a matched race. You know, you can switch carts and see what, what advantage you can use at different speeds depending on what cart you're using. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, it all starts with an idea. This one's going to be the green turtle shell. Got a motor right there. Just need to tear her down, purty her up a bit. Yeah, this thing is all the way done. Other than uh, I'm waiting on my uh, stage one uh, air filter and muffler in the mail. It should be here by, I believe, Saturday. Uh, but still works fine, still performs real well. And it still looks kind of cool, just the way I got it right now. Them Hemis come with them cool looking filters. Uh, the non Hemis. These, the filters don't really look like this, huh? but these, these Hemi filters actually look pretty cool if you just leave them exposed. So we'll just leave it exposed, plus it's yellow so it matches everything. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Uh, but, yep, yeah, tip top. I like doing, that's another thing I like about these Hemi's guys. Um, that's, your, that's your pulse right there. All you got to do is hook it right into that thing. Boom. And that runs your your pulse pump that'll fill you up anywhere you ain't got to put no holes in your block or no stupid shit like that uh, just plug it right up to that dude right there and it's a lot better with these hemi uh, the non hemi's kind of got a the any so you kind of got to stuff the hose in there so you really don't get a good good seal on it um but this one right here um works real well i really like the hemi <clears throat> yep got a 40 roller chain on there Big old thick dude, tired of snapping chains. 
Got our hydro brake. It's pumping. Looking real, real good. Need to get a new steering wheel, but this will do for the time being. Uh, but by the time it's all said and done, I'm sure you guys seen my uh, previous video where uh, this thing actually looked like this thing. Like a straight up piece of shit. Uh, but after I'm done with it, it's going to look like that. Look pretty cool. Nothing to it but to do it, guys.